Introducing the HFE 28 by Hudson Forest Equipment. So what we did with the HFE 28 is we took what we liked the best out of the HFE 21 and the HFE 30 and came out with the HFE 28. And then we put it on steroids. What we did is we took the frame, made it structural steel, squared off the, the frame instead of the bent tubes. So it makes it a more rigid frame. And what really tied this together is the plate steel that we put over the top of it to really hold the mill and create strength with, of course, the gusseting and all the needed places on this mill. So it's still the Homesteader line, so it's not an Oscar. It's the Homesteader, so it's still a little bit lighter than the Oscar, but it's, uh, again, a structurally strong built mill. Uh, boasting a 14 horse commercial power engine. You can also get an electric motor option for this. Uh, we changed up the mounting plate, which is really nothing to the customers, but it's, uh, again, a structural piece that we added to make this mill stronger uh, than it was in the past. They were great mills before, we just keep making them better. The crank to raise and lower your head for thickness of cut is a manual winch for ease of use, quarter scales on it. Uh, four, five, and six, and eight. Around to the front of the mill, and uh, you can see again, it's uh, that uh, plate steel that's gusseting this mill together, making it stronger. We kept the original H-frame, our original design H-frame with the two pillow block bearings on either side of the band wheel uh, that have inch and a half pillow blocks, uh, transferring the weight equally on both sides of the wheel. And we're able to put a nice six year warranty on that uh, main shafts and bearings for residential use. Nice open area, easy to get into, easy to take your gardens off if you need to change your blades. What we have is the Hudson guides. You have the one stationary guide on your square side of the log, and then you have your adjustable guide that moves in and out to hold the blade where it naturally wants to lie. We're not forcing the blade up or forcing the blade down. We're holding the blade on either side with these nice shoes where the blade naturally wants to lie to give you an accurate cut. This mill will cut down to one inch forward on the bottom, 28 inch diameter, and there's 24 inches maximum slab width between the guides when all the way open.